Trump has been visiting the Wisconsin city of Kenosha, touring damage caused by more than a week of at times violent protests following the shooting of a black man by local police. City officials had asked Mr. Trump to stay away, fearing his presence could incite more unrest. But the president came and used his visit to label the protests domestic terror. Hermione G reports. Kenosha is just the latest American city to be roiled by racial tensions. Black Lives Matter protests and the arrival of armed white vigilante groups have led to the fatal shootings of two demonstrators. But the president pointed to what he called the anarchy of Democrat-run cities and their reluctance to call in federal troops. They just don't want us to come in and then destruction is done. A day early we would have saved your store. Absolutely. One day early. One day early. So the governors have to call, the mayors have to call. As soon as they call, the federal government will come in, it'll put it out. Supporters and protesters lined the streets as the president arrived, yelling at one another from opposite sides of the road. Mr. Trump said he was there to thank law enforcement despite the August 23rd police shooting of Jacob Blake, a black man who was shot seven times in the back and left paralyzed. Trump has promised more federal resources, but Blake's family says that's not what the city or the country needs from their president. He's had four years, and all he's done is regurgitate racial slurs out of his mouth, um, not be a unifier, so it's over time and overdue that this country gets what it deserves, and that's a leader that's going to bring us together, this whole country be to stand up and be proud of the country that we all live in. The president didn't meet Jacob Blake's family during his visit to Kenosha. He also refused to condemn the growing presence of armed vigilantes and militia on the streets, calling the fatal shootings of protesters an interesting situation. Miami G, Euronews. Still to come, 